Hello. Is someone there? I'm sorry I can't come out to meet you at the moment. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, I could really use some help back here. I'm afraid I hit a bit of a snag getting the shipment together. Oh. Hello? You're not who I was expecting. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are... Are you alright? No. No, you're not, are you? Please, it's okay. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Are you lost? I'm afraid I can't get up to help you at the moment. But if you stick around, someone will be here shortly. Who can show you wherever you need to go. In the meantime, please don't hesitate to eat from the fruit trees if you're hungry. There is a water fountain on the other side over there. Please, have your fill. You look like you could use it. Poor thing, you look frailer than I do. And that's really saying something considering the state I'm in. Did you bring someone? I'm sure it was a hard journey, but put yourself at ease. You'll both be safe here. As you can see, I've had a bit of a mishap, but I'll be glad to talk with. Oh. There is no one with you, then? Did you come alone, or are you truly lost? I understand if you're hesitant. I see. Not only is no one with you, but you have been very lost and very hungry. That would do it. I know it can be quite a shock to meet someone like me. Especially since I'm sure you've met, well, those who look like me with no minds of their own. I would say don't be alarmed, but I'm sure that's a bit of an unfair demand. Just know that I absolutely will not hurt you. I have no desire to hurt you. No craving to hurt you. No hunger like the others. My body is afflicted by the disease, but my mind is not. If it makes you feel safer, I actually can't move right now. Otherwise, I would have gotten up to greet you, of course. I feel terribly rude just sitting here like a sack of bones while introducing myself. But if it makes you feel better, then I suppose it works out pretty well. I won't be offended if you feel more comfortable keeping your distance from me. Not at all. In fact, if you don't even want to be here, I won't hold it against you. You're welcome to take some food and fill your canister before you're on your way. Though I really hope you won't, because I'd honestly be pretty worried about you wandering around the woods on your own, you know? Alternatively, you could even wait outside. Others will be back soon, some of them will look like you, and that may be more comfortable for you. You could ask them to help you with anything you need. However, some of them may look like me, so please be mindful of that. Of course, I do think that the best option, personally, would be you could just hang out with me for a bit. I love good company, and something tells me you excel at being just that. Even if you are a bit shocked at the moment. Excellent choice, excellent choice. I know it isn't every day that you get to chat with someone as interesting as myself, so you're smart to stick around. It will make for a totally awesome story. Never mind that most people won't believe you, but that's hardly the purpose of a good story. 
Oh yes, of course. Go right ahead. In fact, be sure to try the strawberries as well. I think this has been their best season yet. I've been experimenting with different growing methods to get them to produce better yields. I think I've been pretty successful. Everyone seems to really like them. They may have been the hardest thing for us to get a hold of here. Usually we deceive them first so we can save the seeds for the next round of growing, but I won't tell anyone. Go ahead. What do you think? Good, right? Oh, that makes me very happy. I always worry a bit because so well I can't taste anything, so I get my enjoyment vicariously for others. I love seeing the light in their eyes when they taste something I've grown. Oh, don't mind the cat. That's just Miss Mossy. She's very nosy, but very affectionate. You can pet her if you'd like. What is this place? If you mean that, very specifically, this is my greenhouse. I found it abandoned a long time ago and never left. She was a real piece of work, but I think she's come quite a long way. Looks like something right out of a fairy tale, if I do say so myself. I don't know who built this place first, but I imagine they'd be happy with how life if you meant that question a bit more broadly, well, it is a haven of sorts for people like me and the people who care for them.